Hey, so in this video, we're gonna review some really good emails so we can all get some things we can instantly apply in our copy so we can become better copywriters, make more money, and make our clients rich at the same time. So, let's begin. Uh, how these brothers made, nice. How these brothers made 150k a month in high school. This is really good. How these brothers made this. They, all, they spilled all the secrets on how they scaled the seven figures. Want to watch them accidentally spill the secret? Yeah, I like this. Accidentally spill the secrets because it makes it makes you feel like it is gonna be an actual secret. It's not gonna be something. It's gonna be something that they didn't want to share because they want to kept it as a secret, but they shared it. That's nice. Mm. He quit corn in less than seven days. Let's see. He quit corn in less than seven days forever. Nice. Jin's link. Where are, are you there? Sounds good. Oh my god. I thought her call was at nine, so sorry. I was working in the hospital day. This is my student. He was a bit skeptical at first, whether he should he could quit porn in seven days. He went through another coaching program from a certified coach in New York. He knew it wouldn't work from day one. He started gonna build the healing this, this, this and this. But this didn't work, and I told him we don't do techniques and lifestyle changes. We don't coach you for ninety days or three sections. We don't do you don't go through a hard lifestyle change and change your habits for good. We don't look back at your past. You don't do any of this. This is very good. Because I'm guessing most people think this is the solution. These things are the solution. And he's kind of handling your objections. And he's also relieving you that even if you've tried this and it didn't work, then it's okay. Because we don't do this that way. That's good. What we do is really simple. Simple. We get to the root cause through subconscious transition. Unique mechanism. And since it was really committed and open-minded ever since from the beginning of the program, you could finish two point five hours of video content in two days. Nobody cares about this. And his desire for porn was completely removed. He couldn't believe it at first, but now he understand. I don't even need to coach for on anything like all this. He's throwing stones or make you change your entire lifestyle in a painful way. My student and I turned from his life in process. You want to do the same? It's weird. He's, he has two different. Please don't tell me two different CTAs. I lose my mind. Bro, why the fuck do you have so two bad. different CTAs? Like, come on, man. That, that's garbage. Uh, this is weird. Why are you making me opt in even though I'm already in your limit list? I should be going to the VSL immediately. No, not this. So, this is reducing a lot of. This is adding a lot of friction. Click here to quit porn. And then he's, even though I'm already subscribed to his list, he's sending me here, like, why? Why? Nice. Multiple tens, uh, redundant. I feel like with these niches, like masturbation and all these crappy niches, you don't want to be direct to the pain point. You don't want to be like your masturbation problem. You don't want to. You don't want to call them out. You don't want to call these niches out. I don't like this about us. We, no. For the next 59 minutes, that's too much work. No, that's too much work. Two, don't half ass it. Wish you the end of the book go with me. No. Uh, but I like this. I like this. How he handled your objections and he, he, he kind of relieved you that even if this has never happened to you, even if you've done this and you haven't gotten the result, it's because you don't do, what's it called? Subconscious transition. This is why you haven't been able to get it. The difference is he didn't really explain what this is about. I would kind of hype up, hype this up a little bit. Like uh, when you use subconscious transition, yeah, it's about. I, I would have a line about what it's about. It's about rewiring your the the subconscious thoughts that keep you from quitting porn and that sub you're sabotaging yourself without even knowing it. I don't know. I would have to do something like this.
Everyone who stayed in the labor force long enough will tell you that December is the month it all goes down. Yeah, that's a belief, that's relatable. Most people think December isn't, you can't make money in December. It's when like, most companies finalize their budget, pay bonuses. Yeah, nice. It goes down. Those who will submit a pay raise, father and bone. Yeah, not really interested. Dark room. You wake up in a dark room. It smells like mold. You stand up to these. You stand up to see there is a there is light emitting from a small door, only a few hundred meters away. Confused and unsure what else to do, you begin to wander towards the opening. As you walk, you hear a thought of other people begin to stand up. In this dark room. And now the others are awake. Everybody begins to move toward the door. First slowly, then all at once. People start run, you get bumped, pushed, knocked from the side, pushed from behind, blocked from the front. It's a crowd, a crash, chaos. Eventually, you trip over and you hit your forehead hard on the concrete. You take a deep breath, and then look up in time to see the doorway slam shut. All of the noise disappears. Everybody lags, lays back on the floor in the dark and silence. Because those who are too slow only have two choices. Hope the door opens again somehow by some miracle, salvation, and they promise themselves they won't be slow this time, or just lazily wait to die. Which one would you choose? And what would you do if the door was open now? <laughs> because it is, and I cannot keep it open for much longer. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Yeah, so he's holding the key, holding the door to your salvation open. It's fun. Hey, it's super easy to make excuses as to why you're not successful. So I want to ask you a question. How much money do you think you could make if you had access to the knowledge I have? More than one million dollars on Amazon. Want to be without owning a single property? Let's see. Um, see, it's more easy to make excuses why you're not successful. So I want to ask you a question. How much money do you think you could make if you had access to the knowledge I have? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. Want a second income stream? Let me give you the secret to earning fifteen hundred, thirty-two hundred, even fifty-two hundred dollars per month or more on Airbnb, without owning or leasing any property, no matter where you live, even if you're out in the sticks somewhere, and without obligating yourself in any way or investing a pet. Handling your objections. Money into furnishings, deposits, or anything else. Oh, and all this property management work, like running back and forth between properties to let guests in, change sheets, and clean up after people, forget all that. You'll <laughs> More objections. Just take a couple of days to automate a few easy automate tasks. Few easy and tasks. from then on, you could have a semi-passive semi -passive income stream that like. funnels cash into your pocket 24-7, 365, whether you're working, sleeping, or sitting on a beach somewhere. Better yet, use this... Hyping up the opportunity. Secret to create your first income stream in the next couple weeks, and I'll show you how to rinse and repeat and add two or three more every month, working just a few hours a week on the side. So you could potentially create a semi passive six figure income stream with no financial risk in as little as 90 days, even if you're new to business more and updates. still work full time. Who the hell am I to make such a massive Authority. promise? Well, my once, you, once you learn the framework, Obvious sales and stuff. You're gonna be able to to just see everything. It just everything is the same. Every every VSL is basically the same. And Sean Gavani, I'm a nobody. The last person you. I'm a nobody. Rich. But check this out. Here's a property. I'm a nobody. He's saying that this is purposeful. He doesn't just. He's not humble. He's not this. He's not that. He's saying I'm nobody. Just to prove that anybody can make it happen. And now he's gonna present his story where he, everything was going to shit. Nothing. Everybody was thinking he would not succeed, and this and this. Three that pays me an average of ninety-one hundred dollars per month. Here's one that pays me eleven thousand nine hundred per month. This one pays me thirty-three thousand five hundred per month. I'd have a screenshot or something to prove that. And I've got another. But at least he's showing the properties and the names and everything. Twenty-one listings just like these, paying me a total of one point nine million dollars a year nice. and semi-passive income. The best part, I have no mortgages to pay, no rent, and no finance. More objections and making the opportunity sound better because a lot of that's what keeps a lot of people from getting into Airbnb, for example. Mortgages, this, and this. I work maybe two hours a week total between all 24. 
selling them the dream more properties and love every minute of it and you can do this too even if you're running thin on money time and you live in a protection town where almost no one listen to this he doesn't explain like how Airbnb works he doesn't say, he doesn't talk about Airbnb he's just selling you the dream he's telling you this he's telling he's telling you the dream and the opportunity that's what it's about that's what they what's that's what you want to do in business opportunity niches because that's what they do business opportunity Bizo. That's what it's called, Bizo. Don't travel, Steve. Ask Javon. That's Next his morning. story. I shared the secret with him a couple this months secret. ago, and it only took him two days two to days. land his first property. Then he landed another one a couple weeks later. He doesn't own these properties or pay rent, but they pay him a monthly cash flow of $3,300. Wouldn't that change your life? It's a similar story with Julio. It only took him a couple days to land his first property, and now, just 10 days later, it's already paid him $1,549. And he's landed another four properties that go live in the next few days. Think about that. If these other four do as well as the first... I like what he said, would that change your life? When he talked about the $3,300 a month, he said, would that change your life? He's a, he's a, that's a very good question. First, he might have just created... He allows you to jump into your own conclusion without actually telling you everything semi-passive income stream of $15,400 a month in literally just 12 days. That's more than most people make in two months working full-time. Yassine's doing well too. Every month, this place here puts about $12,300 right into his pockets. And he's got another deal in the pipeline that should pay him even more than that. And he just quit his job. Now, and he gets he just quit his job. to travel full-time without worrying about a budget or a work schedule. And he bounces from... I also like the visuals of this BSL. It's not very static. He just changes... Country to country. Images every like two seconds. the most badass Airbnbs you can imagine. And living it up with the locals. Whenever and however he wants. Selling the dream. While his Airbnb back home pays him several hundred dollars a night. Selling almost on autopilot. Now, not everyone makes 12k per month for property, but it is possible. Doesn't that sound like an amazing life? Well, here's the deal. Everybody knows Airbnb is a gold mine. Your typical three bed, two bath home that rents for $1,500 a month can go for 200, 250, even $400 a night, which comes out to $7,200 a month, worst case scenario. That's another thing you wanna do. In, you don't always wanna do this, but it's very good. Like, you're like, this is the best case scenario, this is the worst case scenario. So even if you, and you present the worst case scenario in a way that it's not actually a worst case scenario. That's what he's doing here. So it's easy to see how these things become virtual ATMs for anyone who runs them. But you know the problem. Unless you own property, or at least you have six or seven grand lying around to rent, furnish and list someone else's property, which is risky as hell, Airbnb's always been off limits to you, which sucks. That's why I'm so stoked to share this opportunity with you. I've discovered a little workaround that gives you the ability to build a whole Airbnb empire if you want, and potentially make hundreds, thousands, even tens of thousands of dollars per month without financial risk or work it normally takes to do so. It's called co-listing. It's easy. It works almost like magic no matter it's where easy. you live. And if you're worried like about the economy and whether co-listing works in a recession, don't worry about it. I'll show you why it works even better in a recessionary environment. It doesn't matter if you're rich or you're poor, whether you're slammed with work, family, and a million other things already. Even if you failed at e-commerce, affiliate marketing, crypto, real estate. Yeah, so this is for you even if you failed with all these other business models. Eight sales and everything else you tried, I know Colas thing can work for you. Ask Mo. He did maintenance More on vending machines before morning. this. Worked out of state, never saw his wife or his daughter. He barely... The relatable problem slash struggle. He worked out of town. He wouldn't see his family. He couldn't see his daughter as much as he wanted. And yeah. He had time to sleep. Never mind build one of these complicated online businesses. But check it out. He had time to land a co-listing deal. It only took him a couple weeks, and now he makes as much as $5,200 a month in semi-passive income. So he quit his job, and he's got all the time in the world for his wife, his daughter, for life. Shelby, same story. She's got seven kids, a full-time job. She hadn't yeah. even stayed in an Airbnb before this, never mind me. Yeah, money. so he's presenting the crazy scenarios. She, had, he, she didn't, he hadn't even stayed in an Airbnb, and she still made money, so. 
but now she's making a killing with co-listing. So is Gabrielle. She's only 19 years old. No experience in business. She doesn't just share these testimonials just because everything here is purposeful. There's a purpose behind everything. Real estate, Airbnb, nothing. But she's one of my best students. These two properties generate an incredible $453 per night for her each. So she should make more than most C-suite executives this year, about $272,000. Now I wanna share this secret with you. Today, I'll show you what co-listing is, how it works, why it works so well, especially right now. How to land your first co-listing deal and build a he's opening a lot of loops here semi-passive income stream of one thousand two hundred forty dollars a month or more in as little as two short weeks even if you're slammed with a million other things how to rinse and repeat and land two or three more deals every month working from the comfort of your home just taking a couple hours a week on the side so you can build a set it's gonna be very easy, yeah. From the camera of your home, this, this, this. Me passive, six figure income stream in as little as 90 days. And why Airbnb is blowing up in every state, every city, and every town across the US, even as the rest of the economy turns south and in 220 countries worldwide. So here's the bottom line if you live within 30 minutes of any hotel, you're in the perfect area at the perfect moment in Bro, history. Who doesn't live within. Look at what he's doing here. And should get like, who doesn't live 30 minutes away from a hotel? Rich on Airbnb. And with this new co-listing strategy, you can do it quicker and more easily than ever before without any of the financial risk or hassle that normally comes with the turf. So I want you to listen up. If you want to make some extra cash on the side or replace your active income with semi-passive income so you can live now instead of waiting 20 years to retire, or if you want to go all in and get rich, what I'm about to share with you now is exactly what you're looking for, and it'll change your life like you can't even imagine, just like it did with mine. See, I wasn't born rich. My family and I fled Iran. Yeah, and I was gonna go into some story about how he should have he should have failed and all this crap. And yeah, we've heard about this in a million a million times. And came here as refugees when I was only five years old. We had no money, spoke no English. Even years later, after I left school and got a job. My parents still lived in this rundown, government-subsidized townhouse in the projects. And me, I was hopeless. If you told me I'd be the one to set my parents free, a 9-to-5 burnout who'd never even considered getting into business, I would have called you crazy. He's handling it's your just, limiting when you belief watch it, here. He's handling your limiting belief indirectly about not being able to succeed, and I'll have the background, I'm not lucky, you know this. Parents flee their home and Making sacrifice like the way possible. mine did. When they work three or four jobs and starve themselves just to keep you and your brother off the streets and fed, you learn that family trumps everything and that it's on you to protect, provide, and be there for them when they need you, no matter the cost. You can agree with that, right? Even if you had a decent upbringing, so it won't surprise you to learn that when some asshole got drunk and drove his Corolla right through my parents' kitchen, flooding the place and forcing them to move into a Motel 8, my life changed in an instant. I got fixated on making as much money as possible so I could get them out of that hotel into the neighborhood. So how are you going to making money and he also built a lot of no lack in trust by sharing this story. He's appearing like a human. They deserve and finally become the son, the man they needed. It's just, well, you've seen the options. E-commerce, affiliate marketing, crypto, real estate, sales, digital marketing, and all that other garbage. That stuff's great if you're a 22-year-old trust fund baby with no job, no family, 100 grand in the bank, and daddy's network to tap into, okay, fine, great. But normal people like us, <laughs> full-time jobs and real responsibilities, I was a full-time office drone at the time. I worked 60 hours a week, had a little brother to raise, maybe seven grand in savings, so most of- Do you see what I'm saying? He's making it sound like he was battling with life or death scenarios this entrepreneurial online money or investing stuff felt off limits and do you see how he threw stones at all the alternatives like sales marketing this and this do you see how he threw stones by saying oh if you have if you have no job you have all the time in the world you have daddy's network do you see this you know what i mean and the stuff i did try only lasted a couple weeks because turns out most of it's way harder and takes way more time and money than people on social media care to admit it's pretty messed up 
So if you haven't found your ticket out yet, it's not your fault. I was in the same boat until I discovered this new co-listing opportunity and it's a miracle I did. See, one of the first things I did when that asshole crashed through my parents' kitchen and I decided to do something about it is list my spare bedroom online for rent. It was slow going though and I needed cash today. So I listed the spare bedroom on Airbnb to make some quick cash while I looked for a tenant. Now, that's not the strategy I'm sharing with you today. In hindsight, I could have just given the spare bedroom to my parents because that would have solved the problem too. I'm such a moron, which is great because co-listings, perfect for idiots. Look at this again. Look at this again. He, he, he just proved his point that you don't need to be smart. Anyway, that one little bedroom didn't just make me some quick cash. It paid me two thousand five hundred sixty. It's much more powerful to, to to handle objections and stuff with stories than to just say you're going to be smart, you're going to be this, you're going to be that. That's much more powerful. Five dollars that month, enough to move my parents out of Motel Eight and into a king suite at the Hilton, and that was only the beginning. I listed the whole place on Airbnb the next month, and it paid me six thousand. Yeah, so now, from now on, it's going to be the good story, the good part, how he made money and stuff. So I think we. We got everything we needed from this VSL. Everything from now on is just gonna be hyping you up to work together, and that's gonna be it. And, ha and he's gonna share more testimonials, handle more objections. That's how it's gonna go from here. So yeah, this is what I want to share with you. If you like what I shared, make sure to like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.